So one thing I've been asked a lot about is making cinematic sequences in Unity. And <clears throat> I realized that a lot of the things I've been talking about in the other uh, tutorials, like rotations and translations, really fits in with this particular um, scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make a new script that essentially uh, takes a, uh, a bunch of sphere game objects and uses them as waypoints for our camera to follow. So, and this has a lot of applications. Um, it could be used for waypoints for AI and stuff like that. Uh, certainly would have to be modified, but for now we're going to uh, um, go ahead and uh, make a few. I, as you can see in the scene here, I've gotten rid of everything that we've been working on so far. Um, and I'm going to make some spheres. Uh, actually, right now I'm going to create an empty game object, and we're going to call this game object uh, path. Um, and inside this uh, game object, you can see the path has a transform, but other than that, it's there's not much here. Um, we're going to make a bunch of spheres. And these spheres will be essentially the waypoints that our camera will follow in the scene. So I'll take that and I'll uh, put it in the path. So basically now we have a path, and inside the path it's going to have a bunch of children objects that are spheres. And these are the uh, are going to end up being all the different waypoints. So we'll duplicate that, move it up a little bit. Doesn't really matter where they are. Oh, whoops, I deleted that one. Let's make... There, that seems like enough. So now we need to make a script that's going to go through our path here and um, essentially collect all of the different waypoints and store them. So let's go ahead and create a new script. And we can call it, I don't know, um, cinematic. So we'll open that up. Okay, so here in Cinematic, we're going to um, do a few things. The first thing is we're going to expose to the editor um, an array so that we can actually see uh, all of the different uh, nodes, or, or spheres in this case, um, becoming populated um, at runtime. So we know that our script is working. So say var, waypoints and you could make these transforms I'm gonna go ahead and make them game objects because I feel like that's probably the most general way um, of doing this so let's see so we've got game objects and now we're gonna also create an, another um, variable called max size and I'll set that to 12 for now. <clears throat> okay, so in our start, uh, we haven't used start yet, but this is probably a good time to actually get familiar with it. Basically, when these thing, when this uh, the object that the script is attached to is created, we want to go through all of the children um, in our path and uh, put them into an array. So. Oh, and to do that, we'll also want something called our current index. And in this case, the current index can be set to private. If you don't know what that does, it basically just means that this won't be exposed to the editor. Um, and so it's strictly for our script to use. And we'll use it to keep track of essentially um, how many objects are uh, in our waypoint array and uh, uh, and also when we're adding stuff we can use that to put it put our objects in the right place so on start we're going to use a loop here um, so we're going to say for var child transform in transform 
and oops, before we do this, we will initialize our current index to be zero. So the idea behind this loop uh, is that basically uh, we want to go through all the different transforms that exist in our transform. Remember this lowercase um, transform here that starts with lowercase t references the current transform of the object that we're attached to. Um, this part basically says um, that we're talking to transform objects um, and we've given them the name child. So in this case we're going to stuff uh, in our waypoints at the current index which is right now set to zero so basically the first um, element in the array is going to be our child. Um, and the next thing and we can actually say child dot transform because that's what we made um, our, oh no actually we want child dot game object because we made a game object array so uh, the next thing we want to do is increment our current index so this means that the next each time we go through this uh, loop we're moving to the next element in the array and putting a, a child object in there. Um, we also want to make sure that we don't go above the max size in this case. So <clears throat> we'll say if current index is less than max size, then we're allowed to do this particular operation. Um, you can actually specify uh, in your array uh, when it becomes exposed to the um, editor like what the max size is going to be but eventually to make it a little bit more friendly we're going to also hide the array we just kind of want it exposed right now so that we can check and make sure that our array is being populated correctly so alright this looks good so far let's go ahead and save it and we will drag it on the path. So now path has, um, you can see it has an array right now, just zero uh, size right there, but our max size is set to 12. And the idea is when we run this, let's go ahead and run it now, getting some weird uh, glitches here. Uh, I'm getting an index out of range. Let's take a look and see what that is. Um, current index, child object of current index is less than max size. Uh, that actually looks okay. Oh, maybe I should also say that we have a new we, we also need to actually instantiate the waypoint array. So we need to say waypoints equals new game object. And then we pass in whatever our max size is. So that creates in memory um, enough uh, spaces for all the different waypoints that we're going to have. Let's go ahead and save that. And we'll run again. OK, now if you look here uh, in our script, uh, we can actually uh, look through and the array and see that it's being populated with all the spheres. So that's good. Basically that means that um, we've now collected all of the waypoints that exist in our path. Um, and we also have uh, other spaces here um, as well if we needed to say we had a particularly large path. Um, so now that we know that's working, let's go ahead and make our waypoint array private because I don't think we uh, necessarily want the user in this case to be able to click and drag different waypoints in because it makes more sense I think for someone to just create a path and drop children objects in there. So now if you look at it you won't see um, in the cinematic script here you won't actually see the array but it is still being populated and the max size is still 12. So. Um, that's it for now. Um, 
we're going to, in the next uh, lesson, we're going to create a way for uh, our camera to start following uh, all the different waypoints that we've created.